Assalamualaikum. Uh, thank you for coming to see us for your interview today, Mr. Zakria. How's your journey? Did you find your way pretty easily? Waalaikum Asalaam. Thank you so much. Well, I'm not really a big fan of Karachi's traffic, but I managed to come here in one place. It's nice to meet you. Likewise. Um, as you know, I'm the dean at this university. I'll begin by asking you some basic questions so we can get a sense of your work and find out more about your potential for being a modern scientist at our university. Of course. So, how about we start with you telling us about your work? What does your research focus on? Well, my research primarily focuses on medicine, in particular gynecology, ophthalmology, smallpox, measles, asthma, and applied ear autonomy. I have published a book named Malhavi, which is really considered to be an encyclopedia of medicine. It reflects both my clinical experiences, my knowledge, and the solutions that I have proposed for some medical problems. Please explain why your work is relevant and important. How does it advance our understanding of the world? Well, I don't want to indulge in self-praise, but um, medicine today, as you know, it wouldn't really be in its place if, if it, it were not for me. But who knows, someone else might have taken over. Uh, many of the ophthalmic surgeries that I prescribed in that time are still widely practiced by the medical practitioners today. Many of the laboratory instruments that I invented in that time, such as flasks, beakers, spatulas, are still used in pharmacies and laboratories today. The most important thing that I would like to mention about at this point is that the numerical order that I assigned of, to the cranial nerves from the optical to the hypoglossal vessels is still acknowledged today. That is very impressive. Um, Mr. Sapria, in terms of the values of our university, we take a lot of pride in being compassionate. So we expect a modern research scientist to indulge in welfare work as well. Keeping that in mind, is there any work you have done in particular for the underprivileged? Well, I don't want to overstate things, but I would say that a lot of my research, a lot of my work is dedicated to the poor. In fact, I have published a book named Kitab Man La Yahduru Al Tabib, which is quite a mouthful, so it goes by the name of Al Tabib, which is really a book for those who do not have the resources to consult a doctor, and so it really could be used by the ordinary citizen, by the poor, by the traveler, as a guide to look up for common ailments. I also um, established a special section for the mentally ill when I was the chief of Azadi Hospital in Baghdad. As part of the discharge planning, I also made sure that the needy were left with some money to meet their immediate needs. That is very interesting and very impressive. Can you elaborate on some of your past work experiences? Of course. Like I previously mentioned, I was the chief of Azadi Hospital in Baghdad and I was also the in charge of Ray Hospital. Okay. What is your opinion about your colleague's work? Well, do you have a certain colleague in mind? Any specific one? How about Al Tabari? Al Tabari, yes, of course. Al Tabari was my teacher when I was in Baghdad. And uh, in fact, I would regard him as the foundation of my work in the sense that he inspired me to come into the field of medicine. He is, in fact, the first person to publish an encyclopedia on medicine named uh, Al-Hikmah, Firdaus Al-Hikmah. And um, his work is extremely detailed and focused on medicine. Apart from that, he also dedicated some of his work on astronomy and mathematics. All right. Could you talk briefly about some of your work that has been proven false or irrelevant and what are your thoughts on them? Well, certainly as, as time has progressed and technological, technological advancements are on the rise, I would say that some of my remedies and cures have been amended. Some of my laboratory instruments such as files and flasks have been modified. Technically, many of my remedies and cures would be considered invalid today, but what is important to mention is that the foundation has stayed intact. Technologi technological advancements today are capable of uh, identifying and extracting the active ingredients from the remedies and cures prescribed by earlier medical practitioners and essentially formulate them as pharmaceutical products. With that being said, it is important to uh, improvise, it, to acknowledge and uh, improve old theories to come up with better and new ones. Indeed, it is very important. 
It was very nice to talk to you, Mr. Zakria. I hope your day goes well and we'll be looking into your application and we'll let you know about our decision very soon. Thank you so much and I'm really looking forward to be a part of this university. Thank you so much, Mr. Tabari, for getting back. We are much honored to have you with us today. Wa alaikum as -salam. Thank you so much for having me. So, Mr. Tabari, if you're comfortable, shall we proceed? Yes, please. If you know, we are currently in the process of recruiting new faculty for the coming session. Yes, I was reading, actually reading on it on it. I was actually reading about it on the tablet the other day. Oh, you did. Well, then let me jump right into the matter. We had a grasser today early in the morning, and he came as an interview for interview for medicine. If I'm not mistaken, are you talking about Abu Bakr Muhammad Ibn Zakaria Al Razi? Absolutely correct. So he came for the interview and he mentioned you were his teacher. Yes, I was. When I was in Baghdad, he was my student. Oh, great. Um, can you please provide us an insight on his work? Of course. Well, I always enjoy talking about the achievements of my students, and Al Razi is usually one of those which really just dominates that talk. So, Al Razi, so where do I begin? There's like a whole dimension of Al Razi. Al Razi is like a whole dimension in itself. So, where should I start? Um, Al Razi was a very inquisitive and keen to learn type of a student. He was very talented and well informed of his work. And I do not want to overstate things, but his exposure in medicine is unbeatable. If at least not, if at least in his time and in the several decades to follow. Uh, he was very fascinated by Fedoras al Hikmah, which is one of my publishments, but his Al Havi is no less. The 23 volume set medical textbook is, covers possibly everything that you need for obstetrics, gynecology, and ophthalmology. That indeed is a very extensive work of him, and we were just going over his book before you came. Very inspiring. Um, so, however, like I would particularly want to ask you if there's anything specific you could tell about Al Razi's working ethics. So, Al Razi's work ethics is, I believe, a very distinguished separate chapter among his very his vast attributes. So, he was very professional, and at the same time, his work ethics were, I would say, inspirational. So. I was particularly impressed by his uh, clinical uh, critiques and monographs on diseases. At the very same time, he viewed his spirit of giving back very strongly. He had a very empathic, empathetic and caring behavior when it came to looking after his patients. And uh, he would observe, in, in my observation, he would have the very same attitude when it came to his students. Al-Razi would be a very considerate, yet a highly demanding professor with great work ethics. Amazing, amazing. That does kind of give us an idea about him. Thank you so much, Mr. Tabari, for coming in and uh, changing some light on Mr. Razi. We really liked to have you here with us and you were a great help. Thank you so much. And I would conclude the session by saying that Al-Razi would make a great fit in your university. We're so glad to have you back. So, after a comprehensive assessment of your CV and the interview conducted, I'm pleased to offer you the job of research scientist in our medical research program. We believe that our medical research program will explore new boundaries. Our existing employees will benefit greatly from your experience in work ethic, and our institution, coupled with your efforts, will be able to bring substantial progress to medicine. We'll be looking forward to you working with us. First of all, Walaikum as -salam. and I'm really already very excited to be working at your institute and I really, really hope that I will live up to the expectations of your institute and will be making significant progress in my tenure. Inshallah. We'll be looking forward to have you on campus soon.